does the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19 spread from one person to the other? And how can we keep ourselves safe both indoors and outdoors? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith and these are WHO's Conversations in Science. We're talking to Dr. Oliver Morgan today. Welcome, Oliver. Thank you, Vismita. Oliver, my first question to you is, what have we learned so far about how this virus spreads from one person to the other? COVID-19 spreads when respiratory aerosols or droplets that contain the virus are inhaled or get in contact with our nose, mouth or eyes. This is why it's particularly important to follow the recommendations of WHO about avoiding the three C's. And those three C's are crowded places, being in close contact with other people, and also avoiding confined places that have poor air circulation. Oliver, what do we know about transmission indoors as well as outdoors? Ms. Mita, we recommend that when people do meet, they try and meet outdoors wherever possible. This is because we understand that COVID-19 can be transmitted when people talk, when they laugh and even sing. So it is really important that we maintain good air circulation or air flow, which includes meeting outdoors. On the other hand, when we meet indoors, it is, can increase the risk of transmission if there is not good air circulation. That is because we understand that the length of time that we are meeting inside can also be a risk of uh, transmission. In particular, we've seen that people who are in the same household can transmit SARS-CoV-2 because they are in close contact with each other for extended periods of time. Oliver, if people must meet indoors, how can we keep ourselves safe? Well, there are several things that we can do to keep ourselves safe when we meet indoors. The first is to open the doors and windows if possible so that there is more air circulating in the room. We can also wear masks as well. It's possible for us to maintain distance, at least one meter between each other. And we can also ensure that we wash our hands frequently in case we might pick up virus that's on any surfaces. I would also like to add that although not specific to meeting indoors, it is important that we get vaccinated when we do have that opportunity. So Oliver, how do we keep ourselves safe outdoors? Well, this meter, in much of the same way that we take precautions inside, we can also take precautions outside. These include many of the same precautions, for example, wearing masks, keeping distance between ourselves, at least one meter, and also washing our hands frequently in case we pick up viruses from different surfaces. Thank you, Oliver. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time, then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.